Dr. Gladys Kalemazikusoka, Founder and Chief Executive Officer of Conservation Through Public Health and also founder of Gorilla Conservation Coffee. We found out that there were many coffee farmers around the national park who are not getting a steady market for their coffee or a fair price. A lot of the community members have been hired to be rangers and truckers and porters. Some of them are serving food and accommodation and crafts, but not all of them are engaged. And we thought, why not engage the coffee farmers to reduce their need to enter the forest to poach. They're not poaching gorillas, but they're poaching other animals in the forest. And as they go into poach, they also collect firewood. And so we're addressing all three together, human, animal, and ecosystem health. We try and educate people to have families they can manage. Because if you have a manageable family, you don't have to go into the forest so much to collect a lot of firewood to cook for a family of 10 so that they can take their kids to school, give them proper health care and break the poverty cycle so that they have less dependence on the forest to meet their basic needs. There's a very high human population growth around most of the gorilla habitats and all of that ends up reducing the habitat of the gorillas and the other wildlife. Another big threat is disease from closely related humans, either intentionally through tourism, tourists going to see them, or unintentionally when they happen to go into people's gardens to eat their bananas or whatever it is that they want from the garden, because they probably do not have any immunity to coronavirus, and yet they are a related host to us. So it will have even much more devastating effects in the great apes, likely, than it will be in humans. And how can we prevent it? One way is that you know, people have to be um, very hygienic when they visit them. They shouldn't be sick. If anybody's coughing or sneezing, they should not be allowed to track. And they're actually not allowed to track gorillas or chimpanzees. Also, people need to wash their hands, currently disinfect themselves, and more importantly, maintain the seven meter distance. Because now, right now, people are wearing masks just to stop disease between fellow humans, especially in closed settings like on aeroplanes. And there's no reason why we shouldn't also do the same when you visit the gorillas, at least during this time when we're having a global pandemic of coronavirus. The main reason we started Gorilla Conservation Coffee is because when you're going to track gorillas, you cross coffee farms. And what we do is we give them a good price, above the market price, only for good coffee. We teach them how to grow it and process it properly. And then a donation from every coffee bag sold goes to support the work of conservation through public health, improving community health, gorilla health, and conservation education. It's just great to get a lot of Africans feeling that they can also do something for primates. It gives people an economic incentive to coexist with gorillas. When I first started working with gorillas in uh, 1994, there were only about 650 mountain gorillas in both Buindi, Pendroba National Park, and Virunga volcanoes. But now, um, the number has gone up to 1,063 in both places, so we're very happy. Based on experiences I had as the first veterinarian for the Uganda Wildlife Authority, we thought that maybe we also need to look at the health of the people if we are to protect the gorillas and ensure that they survive forever. So we work with our community health workers. At the same time as they're improving community health, more efforts have been made to reduce conflict between people and wildlife. Their attitudes and practices towards conservation. We're really pleased to be partnering with Unique Matters to be able to talk about these very important issues.
we believe that it's important to not only address animals alone or people alone, but to address their needs together in order to have long-term outcomes for conservation, better planet for all of us.